This is a barista made dessert because a quarter of the pudding is espresso coffee. This dessert creates a fun presentation as the cake batter is assembled. I add the espresso so it falls into the soft pudding cake batter to create a dramatic effect, but the espresso coffee can be spooned onto the pudding too. Then the jars are steam roasted to a perfect self-saucing marbled espresso rum pudding cake and look impressive as they come out of the oven. The frosting is made with homemade mascarpone cheese and the same amount of cream is added to it and whipped stiff with rum sugar to create an ultra rich frosting. When the pudding cools to room temperature I add the frosting to the pudding with a small metal spatula and scrape the surface flat. It is easy to put a little design on top because the frosting leaves a flat surface to dust powdered sugar onto. To avoid making a mess with the sugar getting everywhere, I place the pudding jar in a large bowl to collect the sugar that doesn't stay on top of the pudding. I place the latte art stencil on top of the frosting and sprinkled on a generous amount of powdered cocoa sugar. I remove the guard to reveal a cocoa sugar smiley face. The espresso buttered rum pudding cake with rum mascarpone frosting is best eaten when the pudding is room temperature. A soft sponge self-saucing pudding soaked in espresso and rum frosted cream. Sealed in the jar with the lid, the pudding will stay fresh for a couple days, but I store the frosting separately in the fridge and spread it on the pudding just before eating it. To make cocoa powdered sugar, I pulverized 100 grams of turbinado style cane sugar with 50 grams of cacao nibs in a wet dry spice grinder and sifted them to create a fine powder. A stainless steel shaker makes it easier to dust the sugar. Another way to dramatically garnish a dessert is with a little demerara sugar and a small butane blowtorch. After I added the rum mascarpone frosting and scraped the top flat, I sprinkled a little dark brown sugar on top and heated the sugar with a torch until it melted into the cream. The caramelized sugar adds a sweet crunch to the rum frosted cream. This is how to make espresso buttered rum pudding cake. I scaled 15 grams of stone ground whole wheat cake flour into a little jar and set the jar aside. I scaled 15 grams of cinnamon sugar into a little jar and set the jar aside too. Into a small mixing bowl I scaled 15 grams dark brown sugar, 15 grams room temperature butter and split open an egg for the yolk. In another mixing bowl I used the white to create soft meringue. I placed the bowl on a folded towel to help stabilize the bowl as I whisked the egg white until it was foamy. I added the powdered cinnamon sugar and whisked the egg for about 3 or 4 minutes to get a soft peak meringue. I like to whisk small amounts in a small mixing bowl, but the whisking can also be done using a stand mixer. To make cinnamon sugar, I took a tiny little piece of cinnamon stick and pulverized it with turbinado sugar and sifted it to a fine powder. I creamed the butter, sugar and egg together and scaled in 60 grams high fat cream. I mixed in the cream and folded in the stone ground whole wheat cake flour. I added the meringue in three additions and gently folded them into the batter. I placed three 125 milliliter mason jars into a high sided frying pan and divided the batter between the three jars. I added a little 15 gram dollop of rum butter on top. The butter slowly melts into the cake batter as it cooks ensuring a smooth pudding texture. I roasted arabica beans from Sumatra, Indonesia to a dark brown color and added them to the hopper attached to the espresso machine. I ground an 11 gram dose and pressed the single shot button to extract a 30 milliliter shot of espresso and let it drip down over the top of the pudding batter, rotating the glass to help spread the espresso. The espresso coffee slowly cascades through the sponge cake, melting the rum butter and helping to create a sauce at the bottom of the jar. I poured boiling water into the frying pan about 25 millimeters or an inch deep to cook the sauce on the bottom of the glass at a cooler temperature. The espresso gets absorbed into the pudding as the pudding slowly steam roasts in a 325 degree Fahrenheit oven for 40 minutes.
The pudding is done when the top is bubbled up and starts to crack. The pudding deflates slightly as it cools. Left in the jar with an airtight lid, the pudding is good for a few days, but best to consume slightly warm with a little rum mascarpone cream frosting. This is a way to make rum mascarpone cream frosting. I scaled 5 grams of a sweet Barbados rum and 20 grams of cane sugar into a small jar to dissolve together and set the jar aside. I scaled 50 grams of homemade unsweetened mascarpone cheese and 50 grams of high fat cream and whisked in some air. I added the rum and sugar and whisked some more. After a minute or so of whisking, the frosting was thick but still creamy. I transferred the frosting to a mason jar. Stored with a lid in the refrigerator, the frosting will stiffen up a little bit and stay fresh for a few days. A hard sauce is alcohol and sugar creamed into butter to create a sauce. I am using a hard sauce style rum butter to melt into a cake. So I scaled 10 grams dark brown sugar, 5 grams of a sweet Barbados rum, and 30 grams of room temperature butter into a small mason jar and mixed them together with a little spoon. 